Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here. Welcome back to more of the Lion King. Ah, perfect. We're here. Anyway, last time we had the uh, anime's token uh, time skip arc, and now we have this. High snow leopards in the volcano. Okay, could you not? I was trying to demonstrate something that I think will really only be useful in a in a later part. Dang it. Stupid bats. I was trying to roar. I think you can't knock out the bats with the roar. I'm not 100% on that. Let's find out now. Nope. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'll just do that to you. Yeah, it's a weird thing where like with the, I think it's mainly with hyena. Hi. But mainly with the hyenas, you can you can uh, surprise attack them. Hi, bat. You can surprise attack the hyenas and jump on them, and you basically just maul the ever loving crap on them. Speaking of, I'm doing that now. Bash the slash button, and you can one and you can just knock them out right away. No questions asked. Go away. Hate bats. Bats are still an issue even in today's. Thanks. Even in today's gaming, even in this in this game, uh, bats are an issue. They're the smallest targets, and you are now a large boy. Going down. Pfft, nice, I got smacked by lava. It's kind of a long trek back. I'm going to see if I can't speed run it. Oh, I got... I, you can jump on these? Well, we're learning things today, aren't we? There. I have proven... That I am indeed the mightiest. That doesn't work. Why do you continue to do that to me? Okay, cool. Later. And you're gonna do this. Listen, I just wanted to jump across. Why do you have to approach me so violently? Hit. Okay, that just happened. This, this, I never said this game was good. I want that to go on record. I never did say this game was good. I've said I played it. That's the whole story. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, it's basically if you jump on their front paws. That's how that works. Yeah, come into my range. Come into my lair. Now there is a function that can happen, and I would wish I could show it off with the, uh... Yeah, cool, cool, come down here. There's so many health ups in this game. Um, my recommendation to you, there are two ways to go. Go left, do not be tempted by the one up. Just please do not be tempted by the one up. I, I bequeath of, of you to not be tempted by the one up. Or the slag might or tight, whatever it is that will kill you. I'll be right back. Hey, that's cool. I can chill out quick. Okay, let's try it again. Actually, can I just hit that from like jumping right up against the side of this? Yeah, that's a safe way to do it. So yeah, I I ask that you kindly take the left path. Yes, the one up is tempting, but if you goof, you have to redo the entire level over again. Plus, don't worry, there's a one-up coming up. For the brave. And the mildly dumb. Oh, hey, look, I'm, I'm dumb as a rock. I don't know where that platform was. Anyway, move it. Ignore the enemies if possible. Fine, I'll do this. I'll get rid of it instantly. Instantly? I get rid of it instantly. <laughs> okay, that's gonna hurt. Immensely. Alright. I'll meet you back over there. And I, if you are playing an emulator versus, I recommend saving, using a save state vigorously in this area. Okay, with much swifter success this time. Now let's see if I can't hit a bat on my way over there. And there we go. Huh. So you're ready for the, like, I'm going to say, oh god, no, 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 damn it. I was going to say the worst boss, boss fight, but no, I forgot what segment came up next. It's that. Luckily, a 1-up keep, does keep respawning if you get to 
a wonder pool keep will respawn constantly if you get to the area after the uh, snow leopard bit okay let's try that again vigorous movement hold the wall for half a second come back Ugh. i managed to die twice Okay, this works. Ugh, I was, that happened in my test playthrough as well. Okay. So now coming up here is the kind of worst design bit. Ugh. Okay, another shale. Don't worry. We'll go on the lava shale. Just smack dudes. They will test you. They will test your cur- They might- Thankfully, they're too dumb to realize you can stand on there. If that platform disappeared, that would make this all the more worse. But anyway. So, ready for your boss fight here? How good are you at Simon Says and... Uh, uh, how good are you at Simon Says and dodging with Simba's incredibly awkward hitbox? And not really Simon says, the the, uh, the lava does have a set pattern comes up in here, but I actually want to get off of this one here. Because after a while, ugh, after a while, uh, rocks will come down from the ceiling and fill in the volcanoes. And you literally just have to play the waiting game with this. Ugh. I'll take a hit. There we go. Got it. And... Where is it? Fill your void. Oh god, there it is. Okay. You're safe now. You are now safe. You can just chill on top of rock formations until the game is... I move forward slightly. You can just chill on top of rock formations until the rocks fall from the ceiling and cover up lava fonts. That's it. You've won. And Sim is returned. Alright, this level... This is going to be the a dumb level. Ready? There is two ways to do this level. The level that will get you power-ups, which you don't necessarily need other than the health power-up you already have. And the way you go to just finish. I'm going to do the way to just finish, because it's one of those multiple door mazes. Also, how this place works is, if a hyena is alive, you cannot go through the door. Press up to go through doors. Kill hyena. And proceed through. Now, I did this just, like... I did a test playthrough of all this like two days ago or so. And I won't lie, I had to look up a guide on this, on how to get through this place. But I will tell you that if you're following along, it should take you roughly it should take you roughly two minutes just to beat this place. So this is the big room. Dang it, I messed up one already. Just go down. There, it went down. Grab this bug for full health. Go into the bottom right door here. Go through this area. Eh, mess it up. Whatever, he'll stay within range. Go in this door. At this point, it actually is kind of just a very easy go from one place to the other scenario. Well, I'm coming down then. Cool. Thanks for coming down. We need less hyenas in the world right now. And take the left door here. Finish up this room. And you're set and you're clear to go. With four hyenas. There. And you're done. That's it. Simba's Pride, done. And last level of the game. You know what? This is fine. I guess a three-episode series. Hey, you get to fight Scar here. So Scar is a dumb fight where you kind of have to wait to see if he'll get tired out. I think we got the pattern right now. Wait to see if he gets tired out. Hit that X button, or that, that additional button I was mentioning. So hit. Tired. Dang it. You can just kind of wail on him constantly, if you want to. But the throw here is quintessential for beating him in a shortest amount of time possible. Also, there are no there are, 
are no checkpoints here. So if you goof, it's back to the start. Okay, that was done. Let's try that again. But yeah, there is no there is no save there is no checkpoints in this level. So if you die, you go all the way back up. Also, this fire is gonna be annoying and a bane of your existence. Just believe me. Actually, I want to go up. Or I want to repeat the level. Yep, I want to repeat the level. Yes, I do. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. You can take the lower path for full health if you need it, but I don't need it. Also, yeah, I am kind of abusing safe states. Well, I will not lie to you on this either. <laughs> what are you... You know what? Just, just stop moving. Can I just jump up there? No, I cannot. Ugh. The lightning attacks. Brutal. Uh. Okay, cool. That's what makes me feel very safe. Okay, come on. Thankfully, fighting Scar is probably the easiest... Damn it. Get off me. Okay. There. That's the window. If you see his tongue hang out, he's ready for a smackening. Luckily, you can get two hits in every cycle. Wait for him to like do a pant, and then you throw him, and that's how you do it easily. Like, like, kind of like I, I think I mentioned it lightly, but doing it with with a three button Genesis controller is probably going to. Yeah, he left. Doing it with a three button Genesis controller is probably the hardest part about doing all this because. If you just hit B, you'll just smack him. Which is also going to suck because this is a three-phase fight co fa fight coming up here, basically. We did phases one and two, which weren't all that different. And phase three is more of the same. Ow. Phase three is more of the same. Okay. You know what? You can have that. Phase three is more of the same. And yet... It's different altogether. In the fact that you actually have to time out certain things. Also, I know what I'm doing. Ugh. I knew what I was doing for a minute. And then I missed my jump. Aww. Now what kind of bullcrap is that? Dissipate. Apu. Apu. Uh. Okay. I'm just gonna look away for a minute and you're gonna- You're still there. Up. And back down we go. Not too far down, thankfully, but it's far down enough where it's just annoying. Anyway, the whole point here is to move fast. Because that lightning will cut you off quick like. Okay, no, we're jumping for the far one. That lightning will cut you off really fast. But once you get up this cliff face... Once you get up this rock formation, that's that's where the final fight is. And I don't think there's really anything to collect for health at this point. It's just the fi the climactic final fight that happens at the end of Lion King. The whole point of what you're trying to do here is lure in Scar and throw him off. It does not matter which side, you just have to throw him off. Except, he will res except he'll resist you a little bit this time. Also, I'm within health range where if I don't hit the buttons correctly, I can die very easily. Thankfully, he is doing his simple pattern of letting me smack him twice before he backs off. And now I'm like waiting a little bit before I hit him again to see if he goes into his panting animation. No, not yet. A little more, little space, buddy. Don't. Okay, fine. I'll just smack you constantly. I don't know what you're attempting, but like I got look look. I've read you like the I've read you like a book. It's it's time for reading reading rainbow. Fine. I'll just smack wildly until you understand what's going on here. Oh, that was it. Smack, approach, and flip! Oh. Really? Okay, you're tired again. Come here. Approach me. Approach. Dang it. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I'll meet you right back up there. That's a lot to go back through. A whole lot to go back through. 
Okay, let's pick up a right about here. Listen. Listen, I got rapid fire on my side. I don't need... I don't need your kind of thing up. Gotcha. Dang it, I was hoping to get him on the rebound. Alright. It's literally... I think now it's like you have to do a set amount of damage before he'll let you... You have to do a set amount of damage to him now before he'll let you... Uh, fling him off. Come this way. Oh yeah, that's actually the trigger. When he does that constantly, he's ready. Come closer. Really? Thank you. And come this way closer. I can't... I am, I am able to goad him closer. Really? Uh, fine. I'll play the game. Is that it? That's it. And that's how you go through the Lion King in like an hour and a half. If not shorter, if you're more skilled at the game. That is the entire game. I wish I could tell you there's more. Like, it seems like these, it's, to me, it seems like these Disney games that are on Genesis, like, man, they had sound quality. Man, they sounded really good. The voice clips sounded extraordinary uh, if you don't die constantly they last an hour quality department anyway I don't know what order this this video is gonna go live compared to the others but because like I like to jump around my side project schedule a bit anyway but yeah that is the end of the Lion King for Genesis and Super Nintendo Like, I, I definitely missed one or two power-ups here and there, for obvious reasons, and one power-up didn't even... I know one power-up didn't matter at all, simply because... Simply because of the fact that that one power-up, you, you couldn't get. You can't... You, I don't know how you get. And it really doesn't matter, because... It's our kingdom. It's my kingdom now. Nice. Way to, way to just dro rock drop that. Um, but yeah, that, the, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, that one blue bug didn't even end up mattering, simply because of the fact that, yeah, it's sitting there waiting for you. Uh, how do you get it? Oh yeah, and post time, and after the time jump, your, your roar range just resets anyway. No matter how many of the blue bugs you, no, is how many of those big blue ones you get. Anyway. Fun game, Dif difficult game just because hitboxes are a little eh, but hey, this is one of like three or four, this is one of three Disney games I had growing up or played growing up that I actually did not beat ever. I have plans for those other two games, but we'll have to see when those come along. So as for now, I'm going to let the credits play out a little bit and I'm going to sign off everyone thank you all so much for watching this very short project on The Lion King and I hope to see you back next time for a new side project you folks have a great rest of your day and take care